Hello everyone and welcome to iTai Indie Time Interview Edition. But you know what? Today is only an episode of iTai. So we are not doing an interview with a developer, but we do have a special guest, our good friend Gladiator. But before we start, I uh, just want to let you guys know what's special about this uh, show. And uh, there's only one thing that's special and it is that I wear a tie. And today I am wearing my nice greenish tie with controllers and pluses. Not sure why there are plus on my tie, but uh, it's right there. And uh, yeah, it looks like I forgot to remove a chat uh, icon there, but hey, it's all good. Uh, so yeah, guys, welcome. And yeah, let's have a look at who's in the chat. We do have Jesse Gaming 93 who is saying a wild ninja guy is coming soon soon tm yes that was a you know when they put the tm in you never know how late or how close it is to soon you know i've seen a, a soon tm take about uh six months so yeah it can be a it can be a hard to uh, to tell <laughs> i still expect the tie hey eh? well there you go granite you got the tie so you must be satisfied today guys also we are having a uh, face reveal of Gladiator. So for those of you guys who is wondering what he looks like, he's very, I'm going to say he's very bluish and it's all going to tell. And uh, yeah, we'll see what I mean. And then we got uh, John Scar who says, Allo tous, bonjour mon ami. Uh, John Scar is like a super, uh, you know, su super into French. So uh, yeah, I like, uh, I like his stream. Sometimes he says silly things and uh, it's awesome. So um yeah something that i want to say also before we start i just want to say a big thank you to john scar and gladiator because they've been helping me out a lot actually in the background for getting interviews uh, for the show so you know thank you for them gladiator has also giving me uh you know one time i was like really sh like close to the interview and he got me an interview with uh the last chronomancer like and it was just a few days before so yeah i really appreciate you guys you you, you do an amazing job thank you so much uh, all right, so yeah, without further ado, let's go ahead and introduce our guests. Are you guys ready for the reveal? Here is the one, the only, a gladiator. How are you doing, my friend? Good, good. Yeah, I can see that you're wearing a, a nice beanie here. Uh, you look somewhat familiar. I, I, I can't put my, my finger on it, but I, f I feel like I've seen you before. M maybe like uh, as a model or, or something like that. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Wait, the hold on. The chat. No, yeah, the I, ju I just unmuted you. Sorry, I, w I, I muted you. I completely <laughs> forgot to. Yeah, you're fine now. <laughs> okay. Cool. So, I was just confused. Looking pretty <laughs> slick. <laughs> oh, yes, I am. Yeah. So, are you ready to play some game today? <laughs> yeah, I am. <laughs> I'm super excited. Oh, wait, which game are we going to play first? Uh, you know what? Uh, since you... So, these games were actually recommended by my, my good friend Gladiator. And since you mentioned Slope Crashers first, I think that's the one that we should uh, uh, start with. Yeah, sure, we can. Awesome. Sh so, should I, go back, should I go back to my seat then? Wait, what do you mean by that? <laughs> All right, this is not you. <laughs> oh, show me the this real is you. me. <laughs> and when I'm, you know, cold. <laughs> I see, I see. Yeah, I'm pretty I excited. Oh, oh, who is that? <laughs> who is that hand? <laughs> Do you have a friend with you? <laughs> who is that? Is that Kirby? Or is it Mario? I'm not sure. Hard to tell. <laughs> did, oh no! Did Gladiator got swallowed by Kirby? Oh, that will <laughs> that will be the that will be the day. Yeah, <laughs> I wonder what he would change like. Oh, hmm. He would have glasses, I think, and glasses. Yeah. Yeah, for sure. And yeah, I think that's about it. <laughs> And he would play a lot of indie game. <laughs> That's true. Yeah. The only problem is, can his hand? Does he? Does he have a hand to reach the controllers? Hmm. Interesting. Interesting. So. It's gladiator. It's gladiator when he's blue. Da ba dee da ba da. <laughs> I mean, 
this one could play as a controller with a controller. Really? It's ready. Look at that. Yeah, you can Some put the controller ready. in there. That's true. Nice. That is true. <laughs> All I right. No I, guess I guess I should go back to sitting down. <sighs> awesome. I'll just leave this one up here. <laughs> yeah, if, right. it, if it fits. Oh. Ah, there you go. Oh. Here he is. The one. Oh, fell. The only. All right, did it feel? Fell? Glad you. Oh, yeah. oh his... well. That's okay. Ah, so you told me you got some new uh, headphones, and these are Xbox headphones. Very nice. Yeah, these are <laughs> Xbox ones. Yeah. Hello. Hey. I'm here. I'm what? still blue, though. Yeah, yeah, very blue. Very, uh, I don't know if, if uh, Gladiator is the Discord affiliate, but we're seeing that he has a lot of Discord mm. uh, merch. <laughs> I've noticed. So yeah, <laughs> some uh, some very nice Mar a Mario beanie. And uh, right now he has a Discord Hugly sweater. Mm -hmm. Very nice. Yeah, I do have more stuff somewhere. <laughs> nice. Uh, so Zarina says... It is I love huh? the coordinated outfit, and Ninja has a blue tie. Yeah, that is true. It's actually green, but I mean, I mean, with the color, maybe it's uh, you know, it was not planned. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Oh yeah, look at that <laughs> with the blue, the blue cup now. <laughs> oh, and Zarina that thing was planned. And now Zarina feels like wearing some uh, matching scarf and beanie. So I think we're in for a party. So. Guys, we're also going to be playing some multiplayer games, and these are demos that can be downloaded on Steam. So if anyone wants to join us, feel free to do so. Uh, we've got some extra... Uh, and I'm pretty sure it's not a two-player game, so uh, we've got some extra space. Mm -hmm. And I think you just joined by codes also. Nice. Let's give that a try. Okay, before we Wait, try... So which game? Hmm. I'm thinking Slow Crashers. What do you think, Lightyear? Okay. Yeah? Slow and... Crasher. So... Also, while we game, um, you know, because this is I tie, uh, well, kind of I tie, since it is indie time, I'm gonna randomly ask uh, Gladiator some, uh, you know, some indie questions, indie game questions, just for fun, just to learn more about, you know, his passion to indie games, because uh, that's, you know, that's one of the reasons why I chose him because he loves indie games so much. Um, so my first question, Gladiator, would be. Uh oh. Um, what is the first indie game that you remember playing? <laughs> I know, I know, like the first thing that would will come uh, out of Gladiator's mouth every time will be I don't know because these are kind of tough questions. But <laughs> we'll see, we'll see what he says. Actually, I don't remember. You don't remember? It was no, I do remember. Okay. It was called Farm Together. Farm Together. Hmm. Mm -hmm. I've never heard. Of I that remember one. playing that game and streaming it back in the mixer days. And that's when I started streaming also. Wow. What, do you know when th this game came out? Oh. <laughs> hmm. Years ago. A very long time ago. I think 2019? Wow. 18? Hold on, let me see. Happy Friday, Jesse. Uh, and uh, yeah, I'm doing well, thank you. How are you doing, Gladiator? Uh, let's see. <laughs> it is... Ah, 2018. There you go. 2018. From together. It rings a bell, but uh, I'm not exactly sure <clears throat> what it is. I know. Just making a farm. Just managing a farm. But it's the most coziest game. Nice. I think that's what started the cozy trend. Uh, that would make sense. Also, of indie games. Yeah, because before they had... Um, what was it called? Um, like, Harvest Moon is, is like the first one, right? The first kind of cozy game, so... A lot of game uh, went and copied onto that. Yeah, pretty much. Let me see here. So I just need to set up the volume of my game. Give me a sec. Uh, audio. Yeah. Let me set up on my end also. Okay. The, the game music is very mm. upbeat. There it is. There you go. Nice. It has to be since we're going down the slope. Yeah. All right, let's see here. Press any key. We're going to see if we can lower down the volume a little bit here. Um, okay. Let's see. Oh, controller works. That's good. And yeah, I don't think we can lower the volume yet. That's OK. Got this. Hey, Jem, welcome. Jem, um, I need to give you some feedback for Pixel Mancer. I completely forgot. I want to finish at least um, the three tiers before giving some feedback. 
but I'll get to you on that. I know that you enjoy feedback, so uh, yeah, I'll do that. All right, let's see. We got online, training, arcade, and campaign. We'll go in online. Oh, you saw slow crashers today. Nice. Uh, I'm gonna create a lobby, and everyone is welcome to play with us. Uh, we're gonna create a lobby, and uh, we'll gi be giving a code here. We'll be playing for about 30 minutes, and then we'll jump onto the other game. So, um, Gladiator, is it, yeah. can I steal you for until like 6.15 today? I know that we mentioned an hour, but... Uh, oh, yeah, sure. Awesome. I love this Don't worry, it's like you fighting over me and then John's gonna fight over me. Oh yeah, we we all fight to get you, right? <laughs> uh, okay, let's see here. So, I've got a lobby. Um, I don't know what my code is. Invite friends. Mm. I'll start by doing that. It's okay. I just I, I just went to search your lobby and it's only like four lobbies. Okay, good. <laughs> I think so I just found you. So if anyone needs uh, needs an invite, just let me know. So, um, Gladiator, do you have a favorite indie game of all time out there? That's a, that's a trick question. Yeah, I know, right? You don't want to put any favorites out there. No. I mean, if I had to put favorite, I would be, put favorite based on genres, I guess. Because mm -hmm. that would be that, would, but that'll still be hard. Yeah, for sure. You know what? I'm. I wouldn't even. Oh yeah, I know what my indie game or indie game would be for sure. Actor mm. select. What do we have here? Mm. Oh, I like the penguin. I think I'll take the penguin. Oh wait, there's a cockadoodle. Maybe I'll take that one. Yeah, I'll take the cockadoodle. Oh, Jen, that, that's a good one for sure. Nah, but I'm sure you can guess what my favorite indie game is. It's a... Uh, it was a game on Stadia. Have you decided yet? Even if you tell me a few of them, that's totally fine too. <laughs> uh, oh, my oh I'm still thinking. <laughs> oh, speed. Hmm. Well, why I think I'll pick I'll pick my penguin. <laughs> hmm. Yeah, John, John and Zarina. Uh, yeah, and Jem uh, figured out my uh, my favorite game, favorite indie game. <laughs> not to put you under pressure, but you are doing an interview, and uh, you might not get hired if you uh, you know <laughs> you wait too long to answer. It's okay. It's a suspense. Yeah, yeah, exactly. You want to start a game? You want... And maybe we can get an answer yeah, after? we can. Let's yeah. do that. A Dead Carnival is up there for sure, Jesse. It's a really fun game. Yeah, it's... it's granted, it's like a... It's kind of like a special guest slash... Like a little bit of an interview. I, I ask a few questions here and there for for Gladiator, and we're playing some, Say, showcasing some indie games at the same time. I think I, I I have one in my head that's popped up, which I remember playing a lot. Okay. Was Banner the Banner Saga series? Ah, oh, the Banner Saga, the trilogy. Very nice decision. Mm -hmm. I love that one. Oh crap! What am I doing? That would be that would be the best. Wait, why am I? Why am I? Wait, why am I chicken? Can I jump? Are you a chicken really? I thought you were a par parrot. Oh no, I am parrot. Never mind. Wait, I thought I picked a penguin. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. What's happening? Oh! Oh crap, I have a- What?! <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> What's happening? Oh wait, nobody's seeing the game actually. <laughs> oh man, you guys missed that. Uh, let, me, let me put the game on. Nobody said anything. That's so funny. Uh, oh my god. The water effect for this game is actually pretty amazing. Uh, let me go in live and guess. There you go. Yeah, there you go. Very nice. <laughs> Whoa! Look at this! Whoa! Oh, I'm getting- I got some chili here. Chili pepper. Oh. 
I fell. Uh, where are you? Oh, you're way further than me. How do I throw that? I just have it in my hand. Further? I don't know. I try to get past this oh. waterfall. There you go. Oh yeah. Oh crap. That's not good. That's not good. Wait. I'm. I think I'm out of bound. Ah. Dang. This is actually pretty hard. Yeah, it is. <laughs> You know what this reminds me a little bit? It, me it reminds me like of a mix of Cool Border with my Mario Kart. <laughs> yee -haw! Yeah, let's do the grind. I'm not sure what the buttons are. Here, have a B. Oh man, this is super fun. Whoa, what's happening here? I don't know. I sent I sent some watkins at you. I'm I'm sending some ice cubes, but probably won't make it. Whoa! I just like the parachute concept. <laughs> <laughs> ah, crap. So, Evan, wait. wait. Oh, I finished. <laughs> you gotta go inside the elevator? What? <laughs> wait. No, I'm back. Oh, oh. No. you go inside the elevator because the next, the next, Two the laps. next floor. <laughs> yeah. It's, I, some, I yeah, see dude. you. I'm right behind you. How did I pass you? I, I did so bad just a moment ago. Is oh, that, crap. It was that waterfall. Oh. The waterfall got me. I like did like a super crazy spin uh, not too long ago and I, I want to see I want to do it again. I don't know how I did it. I can boost. There you go. Nice. Oh, I did. Yeehaw! Let's use the chili pepper here. Yeehaw! Oh my god, this waterfall always kills me. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa! This is insane, man. Oh, I got a... Oh. A diglet. Oh crap. I shouldn't have went on it, though. Ah! Oh. Nice. No! Oh. oh! Doing tricks gives you point, uh, points to boost. Yeah, it now. does. Oh no. How can I... Oh, there you go. Wait, am I first again? Interesting. Yes, you are. <laughs> Yeehaw! Okay, so the balloon is kind of like the green shell in Mario Kart. Oh! Crap, I missed that. No! Whoa! <laughs> Man, this is trippy. This is like the most insane level of all. <laughs> yeah, we chose the, a pretty insane level. Oh, I got a boost here. Yeehaw! Huh, I win? Here you go. I think you did. We're pretty close. Oh! <laughs> GG. Wow, okay. That was pretty intense. <laughs> pretty much. <laughs> Oops, I didn't plan to do that. Let me just get that out of the way. There you go. Um, I got a question here. Uh, let me see. Uh... Roaster, Roaster is saying, are you going to ask where Gladiator's na name came from? Well, you know what? What a good opportunity to ask that. So Gladiator, where does the Gladiator 50N name comes from? Oh, I just grabbed with you my secret. It's a secret. How, how much tickle I mean, do you need for us for you to reveal that, that secret? Because, <laughs> you know, John's been, one, John's been wanting the answer. Roaster has been wanting the answers. <laughs> Uh, yeah. All right, so I guess we just say so. I picked Gladiator from the movie because it's one of my favorite movie. Oh, Remember no the movie called Gladiator? Yeah, that's a good one. So I picked that one. That's my favorite movie, and also you know the best soundtrack of all. <laughs> nice, Hans Zimmer. And then um, the fifty N is actually part of my name. So I, it's actually my last name. Okay. And just turn into numbers. So the letters on my name is into oh. numbers. Oh. Back oh oh right, you're right. Because yeah, I know your name from from your email. Ah, mm -hmm. that makes a lot of sense. That is so smart. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. So that's pretty much it. Yeah. I love that. Okay, I think I can't even remember so what I was so we have two maps. We have Neon City and Snowman Slope. Uh, let's try No Man's Slope. Speed is too fast, I guess. I guess I guess we're going very fast. Um, if anyone wants to join in, just let me know, and we'll uh, we'll invite you in. Wait, I want to change my character. I want my 
penguin back. Yeah. Do that. Oh, and I'll, oh I'll... what is this? Hold on. I go, oh, frying pan. <laughs> I don't think I've ever seen a race where they make you use an elevator. <laughs> huh. You know what? That's kind of true, right? I wish that there was like ele elevator music while you're in the elevator. That'd be pretty funny. Okay. There we go. I'm all set. Awesome. Um, welcome in, Rock. Welcome to the stream, my friend. So Happy yeah. to see you here. Um, you said, oh yeah, Banner Saga was my favorite game. Yep. That's my indie. Um, I had another game, but then I forgot during the whole elevator scene. <laughs> <laughs> uh... I was just I was just a time. Oh, Astroneer. Astroneer. Wow. Cool. Mm -hmm. I don't know. I like I like sci-fi. I like space games. Do you like um like uh hmm. what's that game I'm thinking of? Do you like um Oh my gosh, I'm having a blank. That game in space where you like it did really like it's just like billions of planets. And it did really bad at the start, but now it's doing good. Oh, No Man's Sky. No Man's Sky. Yeah, do you enjoy that one? Yes, I put I put way so many hours into that game. Nice. Ow, what? Is <laughs> <that real? laughs> gotcha. You just throw a balloon at me? No. I, I got pop these balloons, but yes, No I, Man's Sky. Nice. Um, I still have the the special edition that they released on the first day. Wow, I didn't even know they had a special edition. Honestly. It, yeah, it came with a it came with a, a little mini spaceship. Cool. Oh. That's a model. Um, but yeah, No Man's Sky. I love it. Have you are you still playing it once in a while? I do actually once nice. in a while whenever they have the season. Ah. It's still a pretty good game because it it's actually the only game that I think that the community is not toxic <laughs> at oh. all. Wow, that's amazing. They're like they really help each other and stuff. Well, you haven't played and... with Granite, and no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Granite, <laughs> Granite loves uh, loves No Man's Sky also, if I'm not mistaken. Oh no! Probably. Granite likes um all those games like survivor games and yeah. stuff, like like Icarus. Exactly. So A big survivor fan. I am too. I actually, so I actually have I actually started like a survivor game very very recently. Oh really? Um, I think like probably two years ago. Okay. I never was a big fan of Survivor game. And then randomly, I, so I always been playing like um first person shooters or so RPG, and okay. then I eventually start playing Survivor games, and then I stop playing all the first person shooters. So <laughs> I'm in a different. I'm in a band right and... Nice. So you, but you've always been like into RPGs. Um... Yeah. I have nice. been always into RPGs. Um, nice. And strategy game as well. I love oh, strategy yeah. games. Yeah. Oh crap. Okay, I have no idea where which which way is the course. <laughs> it's a very <laughs> like confusing. multiple courses. Yeah. Oh, there's a giant snowman. So when you use your parachute, you can do tricks in the in the sky. I think. Chill. Oh, here you are. Question yeah. is, can penguins fly? Uh... <laughs> <laughs> Only when we have a parachute. <laughs> yeah, we'll learn that today. Stay tuned. <laughs> All right, let's go. Got a mole man again. Nice. No, I feel like I'm. I feel like it's really hard to control with a frying pan. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, did you say that you're controlling the game with a frying pan? No, no. Uh, well, no. My, I, my, um, my snowboard is a frying pan. Oh. I switched it out, <laughs> and it feels like it's much harder to control. Interesting. Man, this game is awesome. <laughs> really enjoying it. Yeah, indie games for sure. Yeah. Indie games are getting getting better. I won. Much, much, much better. Oh, yeah. Oops, wrong button. Oh, I'm gonna have a look here. 
Zarina has been wondering the answer. Oh, about Gladiator's name. It looks like Zarina is talking in third person now. Um, yeah, be, yeah, Chad, I'd be curious to let if you guys can let me know. Um, what's your favorite indie game out there for sure? Uh, my roster's nickname is from my last name too. Nice. Uh, and Brandon <laughs> says, my nickname has a last name, but isn't my last name. <laughs> Very true. <laughs> I'm shocked. <laughs> my my name is from my name, too, Zarina. <laughs> it's funny. Uh, Rosa says, we have two rocks. Rock Rocks in the chat. Yeah, exactly. Man, so many people. Man, Rosa says, Starcraft. Very nice. And uh, Jesse says, my brother used to play StarCraft on a very competitive level. He was eSport ready. Let me get that up there. But he ended up going to college instead. Well, it could be, it could be the smart thing to do. It depends, you know, if uh, uh, what kind of career you'd want. <laughs> nice. I have yet to meet another Zarina. Yeah, Zarina is a very... Uncommon name for sure. All right, let's go into advanced settings and we're gonna try um, Neo City again, but we're gonna try the scenic route. I think we were. In fact, yeah. About StarCraft? Yeah. Is in Korea, there's a school for it. What? Really? <laughs> mm -hmm. Interesting. I didn't know that. They teach you how to play at esports level. Oh. And then if you oh. pass, if you pass, and and if you do video well, you get you get picked to you get picked um in, on a team. Oh wow, that's crazy! It's like a college for uh, esports. Mm -hmm. There's some. Uh... Mm -hmm. Yeah, I heard about that. You have to. You probably have to be like good at it, like even before starting, right? Like they probably choose like specific people who has potential. Mm -hmm. Yep. Look at that, you really have a frying pan. I told you. So, Gladiator, while we race here, let me ask you a question. Um, sure, sure. <clears throat> um, the emo. For you, what do you think that, like, what do you, like, which game do you think that defined, that started the indie game scene? Like, is there any game or like, when you think about when the indie game scene started, what game are you thinking of? Hmm, that's a tough question. Haha, <laughs> I know, right? Whoa, hmm. I did I hit a boost there? That was weird. <laughs> Wait, are you gaming with one hand? What? I I'm am. seeing you there. <laughs> what? <laughs> I am. Why are you so good at this? <laughs> um, try and think. No! I, actually, no. it all depends on the genres, I guess, like what started the trend. But then I think, you know, like games such as, for example, um, Dead Cells. Yeah. Um, that started the whole trend of the whole roguelike series thing. Yeah, going. roguelike, yeah. And that and that has that started with so many other games afterwards, like they wanted that. I think what any game, when it comes to indie games, the start where it started was for triple A titles. Mm -hmm. Games started at the beginning, but then what indie game developers do is they take a bit of the what the triple A titles have and then just um, change it a bit or add something new, some a unique touch or something new, and then eventually it becomes an indie game. Yeah, that is true. Um, I think we come from a different in generation of indie game because for me. Uh, like the first game that depicted like the indie scene um, was back in like 2007 and um, it was Cave Story. Mm -hmm. Cave Story did an amazing oh, I job. Cave Story. Yeah, they did an amazing I job. Cave Story. Uh, you know, it started in 2007, but they, um, you know, they remade the game on 3DS and, and mm -hmm. in a lot of stuff. And yeah, that was like. When I think about indie games that started the scene, th this is the game that I think of. Yeah, I guess, yeah. That, that would definitely be it. Yeah. Uh, 
I mean, it's like the same thing as what uh, what started the whole trend of indie games going to Kickstarters. Oh, Kickstarter, yeah, that's a whole different level for sure. But I, I, yeah, I mean, I, I know the game that, that started on Kickstarter that actually started the whole trend of indie games going to Kickstarters. Is it? Can I guess? Yeah, sure. Is it Mighty Number no. Nine? <laughs> no, it's not. Oh, oh, you have to tell me then. <laughs> what is it? Well, you get three chances. <laughs> With three chances? Oh man, no, what? Three shy. Is it okay? Well, can you at least tell me if it's before or after Mighty Number no. Nine? Ah, oh, crap. Um, I guess you can. Yeah. <laughs> hmm. Is it Bloodstain? Ritual mm. of the Night? No? Mm -mm. Uh... Oh crap, what's happening here? This is insane. This is a whole different course, even though it's like a different set. <laughs> it is. It's much harder. Yeah. Is it... What's the my last chance? Oh man, what else did they put in there that is famous? I'm... And actually, it is quite famous that it actually it became a, it's an RPG game. It's an RPG game, really? A turn-based RPG? Mm -hmm. No. Uh, more like, um, you ever play, like, Baldur's Gate? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Ah. On R. Ah, is it? On Neverwinter Nights. Uh, it's probably not a game. Is it Path of Exile? Nope. Ah. So my three guesses are done. What was it? Oh. Uh, it's actually pretty interesting. It's actually Pit of Eternity. Uh, oh, can you repeat that? Pillars of Eternity. Pillar. Oh, yeah, that's a popular one too. Interesting. It actually started. It started as a Kickstarter. I didn't know that. It was one of the most successful Kickstarter um, of all. Wow. It, and then that started the trend. And of course, Pillar of Eternity. When the 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 whole story was. Um, I went out since I read the book about it, mm -hmm. and so the the company, the developers, they had to lay off so many people. Oh no way! Ah, oh, that's unfortunate. The economy was bad, so they only had like maybe a small team left, and then they all, and then one of them decided that, hey, maybe you should try to put out a game like a demo or a plan on a Kickstarter and see what happens. <laughs> and it and then they took the risk. And they raised over a million dollars, and they go, you got put it in eternity. And ever since, the, and then after that, the company got really big, got great with the reputation, and then Microsoft acqu um, acquired them. Wow, that's pretty cool. And then that's that's that became Obsidian Entertainment. <laughs> yeah, Kickstarter can do some amazing things for people. And with that, that started with so many different trends of all indie ga uh, games coming to Kickstarters because. No one, no one would, no one ever thought that that would actually work. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and now it's like almost like every indie game has their own Kickstarter nowadays. Pretty much. Yeah. Pretty much. <laughs> All right. Oh, look at these moves. Look at these moves. Oh man, I'm not doing any more moves though. Man, I'm so far from you. This oh yeah. Is like the most insane course. It's like, <laughs> even though it's the same course, it's just a different route. Yeah. Crap. Chicken Dance Club. Interesting. Man, there's some weird sound coming in the corner of my... On my... <laughs> on my, uh... Oh, come on. Of my weird office. Style? Yeah, and it's very dark and it's kind of creeping me out. I don't know what it is. It, it just happens once in a while. <laughs> And I'm creeped you have, out. You have, a, you have a pet? <laughs> I, I have two pets, but I don't see them. Let me see if I hear any sounds. No. Nothing. It's weird. It's like a big... Like someone would just punch... Like a... I don't know. Punch something. Alright, let's keep going. Let's keep going. My, uh, my scaredness is fueling me. <laughs> Let's do it. Man, you're way far, far ahead of me in this one. Oh, wait, did you guys hear that too? It happened a few times, Arena. So I guess you guys heard that too. 
Interesting. Let's go. This is snowman in the elevator. Oh, wait, this map is insane. Look <laughs> at that. Whoa. Okay, okay, I'm getting the hang of it. I think. Uh, I'm going fast, I'm going fast. I think Gladiator is really good at speed games. We were playing that speed actually, I'm not game. Really, I, actually, I'm not really good at this kind of game. No? Oh. No. Are you good at I speed just thought, I just thought... Not really. I sucked. Mm. No. <laughs> you were good at that speedrunner game that we... Uh... Trust me, I would not be good at speedrunner game because I'll get distracted. Oh. <laughs> Man. Nice. Oh. <laughs> I'm not crazy. That's good. It was... Uh, yeah, it was a... T it was like... Someone like closing a window really, really fast or something. Sliding a window. I don't know. I think it... Nothing... I don't know. Everything was good, so yeah, we'll, we'll keep going. It's not me. Yeah, I, <laughs> Gladiator's looking inside. Thanks, uh, uh, Zachary. Uh, I, I appreciate the... Um, your honesty. I'm not sure if I'm too good, but uh, I appreciate that. Thank you. Uh, hey, G uh, CGTV, welcome to the stream, my friend. Uh, so what do you think we, we jump onto the other game, Gladiator? Oh, yeah, we can. Awesome, let's do it. Uh, all right, so let, let's close this game. Now, you guys are going to see my desktop. <clears throat> no judgment, please. There's a lot of, uh, of icons, <laughs> I gotta admit. Uh, how do we get out of here? You can just close it like that, right? Uh, quit. Awesome. So yeah, this is my desktop. <laughs> oh, I play games, see. but I don't. I don't uninstall them. I should probably do that. <laughs> I have so many demos installed yeah. right now. Can you find the pixel junk creators, Jim? <laughs> Sorry, what do you think, Gladiator? Oh my gosh! You got a lot. Of, you got a lot yeah. of icons. Yeah. Wait, where is Pixel Man? Oh, there it is. <laughs> yeah, that's a lot of icons. Hmm. I don't know why Fall Guys doesn't have an icon. That's weird. So, Gladiator, we're gonna. S I'm gonna ask you another question. What is your sure, sure. What is your favorite game from my desktop? <laughs> Can I even see it? Do you see it from here? Hold on. No. Let me see. Okay. I just zoom in. <laughs> I can. Like, I can. I should pair of glasses. Well, I mean, it's a lot of games. Okay. Here we go. Well, hmm. They're kind of like an they're kind of like an alphabetical order starting from here. I think these are in alphabetical order, and then these are just like random icons. And then there's like sniper ghost warrior and over here. Yeah, the words can I can't barely see the words. I'm just gonna pick an icon. Okay, pick an icon. <laughs> Let's see what kind of icon looks very interesting. Yeah, hmm. tell me an icon that you recognize. Well, I see Fallout icon. Wait, that one? Isn't that Fallout? Oh, Fallout. Uh, yeah. Fallout. <laughs> Wait, I, I have I, to I, find it. <laughs> I, love, I love Fallout. Oh, there it is. Yeah, I Fallout. I, the Pit Boy. I play Fallout was all my favorite. Mm -hmm. The first Fallout, the first, second one, the third one, all the strategy ones. Oh, my gosh. It was a great storyline. <laughs> No, yeah, I, no, you know what? I never finished. Got. I never finished a Fallout game. I played them, enjoyed them, but never finished them. I finished every single one that actually came out so far, uh. even the new ones. Mm -hmm. I just, I just enjoyed the storyline and everything. Yeah, it's really good. I really did you enjoy? Like, did you enjoy the first one? Like the one in the first and the mm -hmm. second one? Oh, really? Yeah, interesting. It, were, it was great. I'm trying to see what other icons there are. Oh, Zuna says, Steven and I dressed up in Fallout team one year for Halloween. That is cool. I, 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 know, I, I know that game, I see. The Calico, the cat game. Oh, yes. That's one of my favorite <laughs> games. I, I know that why. icon. I don't know why I enjoy Some it so icons. much. Well, it's a cat game. Yeah. I, every, I think <laughs> cat games are getting popular. Oh, I'm super happy about that. I'm such a, you know, cat kind of guy. I even have like a cat decoration in my uh, 
Like I have a special place for a, a, my cat, a cat decoration behind me. You don't see it because it's like right on the bottom of, a, of my chair, but it's there. All right, let's play Tray Racers. And again, guys, this is a free demo and you're all welcome to join us if you'd like to. Supposedly this game is going to be free to play when it comes out on launch day. Oh, wow. I wonder uh, how it's going to work. Welcome to Tray Racers. This demo will only be available for the duration of the Steam Next Fest. Oh, that's... There's so many new games lately because of that. It's crazy. We're giving you access to this. Next Fest starts mo Monday. Monday. Yeah. Nice. Tray Racers, since this is your first time playing, we recommend checking out the tutorial. You know what? I sure will do that because... Uh, the learning curve from a uh, slope game was pretty, uh, pretty crazy. Okay, you do that, and then I'm gonna try to think of a question to ask you. Oh no, <laughs> it, it is a ninja interview now. <laughs> uh, I'm, I'm very quick at answering this questions. One, but this so. one would be, this one would be, your simple because it's your, it's probably be your favorite. Okay. Um, what is your all time? Favorite, favorite soundtrack for the Final Fantasy series. For the Final Fantasy series, oh my gosh, there's <laughs> three sound. I can't say an answer, Matt. Sadly, it is a long answer. Um, I have equal uh, like likeness to Final Fantasy six, VI, seven, and nine. They're both like super solid soundtracks. I really love them. And then, um. On the side, another one that I equally like is the Final Fantasy Tactics Advance soundtrack. It's a, it's oh, an amazing yes. one. Yeah, and then you know, a little bit lower than that, I really enjoy Final Fantasy uh, Crystal Chronicles, and uh, you know, fourteen is mm -hmm. amazing. But you know, if I only have to choose one, I think I'll go with nine because there's a lot of variety compared to the other soundtracks. Um, but yeah, yeah, I would say. Yeah. What about you? Mm -hmm. For the Final, Final, Final Fantasy series? Yes. Mm -hmm. Tough one. 10. 10? Interesting. Final Fantasy 10. With uh, Tuzanarkin and Sudeki Nai. That's very nice. Yeah. Uh, directed yes, by. I, 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 I saw. Oh, yeah. That, which I think that game really, really, really interesting. Like, it was. <laughs> It was hard to figure out what's going like the whole storyline in the beginning, but then you know the music helped me understand <laughs> in a way. Yeah, it's so that's why that's why. Yeah, I really enjoyed ten. It's a very linear game, but I mean, I mean all games are linear, but um, and yeah, it's this really one shows a little find, bit more. Yeah, like those kind of games. I mean. It's it's one I, of the. I, I, oh, go ahead. Sorry. Huh? Oh no, cool. I I was just thinking like the games that I still like, like from like soundtrack, like I enjoy listening to, is like from the, the Chronicles uh, series as well. Mm, I love Chronicles. So I, like that soundtrack, was amazing. Um, what other more like, old games that I enjoy that had great soundtrack? Uh, Legend of the Dragons. Ah, oh, that's a. Who, do you know who composed that? Um, um I, I enjoyed the soundtrack, but I never, never looked into it. I never actually looked into it too, <laughs> but mm -hmm. like the entire game really, really was great. Yeah, from, from beginning to end, like as soon as you just jump in. Mm -hmm. Like he must have a good reputation. Was disappointed. Yeah. yeah. Uh, I mean, the same as um, which I enjoy, um, Grandia also. Mm. I like that. Nice. Um, what else do I enjoy? Oh. You enjoy um, the lady composer who did uh, Legend of Mana, Kingdom Hearts. Mm -hmm. Oh, yes. I, can't rem I can never remember her name. I don't know why. It's very hard to remember some of these names. Yeah. <laughs> Wait, why does it um, But yeah. Let me exit this. Oh, so I mean, I mean has, has there been a game where you just sit down and then 
because of the me menu, the, the music at the menu, they just stay there for like two hours, three hours, <laughs> just well, listen to the main menu. <laughs> well, I haven't done that. Um, but all, although recently, um, I was downloading Call of Duty Mobile's um, you know, data, and the mu- the music right now is like the year, um, the lunar year, uh, team. Oh, so it's it's very like Japanese like style or China, uh, like just Asian oh. style. And it's really, really good. So I've been listening to that lately for about an hour while it was downloading. And I, you know, I didn't mind the music at all. But um, other than that, uh, when I played Persona 3 on PlayStation 2, every time I started the game, I never skipped the intro scene because I love the intro scene so much with the music. Hmm. So I don't know if that counts. But uh, yeah, I've, you know, I mean, that would count. I yeah. mean, as long as you don't get out. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. It's the same with like Wild Arm, right? Wild Arms music. Oh, it's yes. so good. Oh, I know you know well, that. I mean, that that's the well, the movie itself. I could just watch me watch the movie <laughs> intro movie. Oh, yeah, <laughs> it's so good. Uh, I'll do a public lobby here. Mm hmm. And oh, yeah, don't get me started into video game music. Oh, my gosh, I could talk about that for hours. Uh, well, that's the point. Yeah. Isn't it? Yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> well, we only have like 25 minutes left, but you know. Okay. Yeah. Are you able it's to okay. join me? Uh, oh, wait, room code. There no, you go. Just... Wait, are you joining me or I join on you? Uh, are, <laughs> wait, are you hosting a game? No, I just joined a. The... Oh. I found you. Oh, perfect. Oh, give me one second. Be right back. Okay. While well, you're. Go on, let me go and catch up with the chat a little bit here. Ninja Gladiator, I sent you a pic of your of our Fallout costume. Yeah, so my what I can imagine is uh, you guys are in a jumpsuit and uh, very dirty. That That's all I can think of as a Fall Guy character. So uh, we'll see if I'm right or wrong. I hope you have like a Pip-Boy or something. That'd be pretty cool. I love customizing my character and leveling up perks, etc. Et in Fallout games. Yeah, and what I like about it too is... Um, you can stop the fighting, right, and aim at your your guy and um, decide the part that you want to shoot and stuff. This is very like RPG style and you know almost like turn based RPG, and I, I enjoy that. Fallout Three is one of my favorite games. One of the few games I've actually finished. <laughs> that's uh that's funny, but um, I I mean Fallout Three looks so fun. I re- like whenever I start the series, I always start the series like from the beginning to the end. But Fallout, I really want to start actually with the third one because it looks so fun compared to the others. It's crazy. Welcome back, Gladiator. Okay, I'm back. Okay, <clears throat> cool. Just getting up with the chat here. I think it's only us two playing this whole game in the whole world. <laughs> oh, maybe. <laughs> Hopefully <Please> not. not. <laughs> I started with three. I like this oh, there you whole are. lobby screen. Yeah. We can. Look, I think Whoa, we can interact with stuff too. Wait, what? What happened? This thing moved. It moved. Is it? Oh, oh, a cockroach. Might be the same cockroach who's make, making sound in that corner behind me. I don't know. What is my slider saying? I mean, they're sliding in the sand, but we call them like crazy carpets here. Do you guys have crazy carpets? Gladiator in New York. Most crazy carpets. <laughs> oh, you, you don't know what crazy carpets? So I'm going to let Chad explain. I think I'm pretty sure it's a Canadian thing. Um, so Chad, explain to Gladiator what a crazy carpet is. Unless I'm, I'm, I'm the crazy one and I'm the only one calling it like that. We'll see. Yeah, I'm playing. Teach All right. Me. Let's Let's why I eat my Torinos. <laughs> Yum. Not affiliate, by the way, by any means. Oh, I think they... Oh, yeah, so I guess maybe they might be confused. So, Granite says, plastic carpet with handles you slide down hills in the winter with. Yeah, so it's basically like a a slider like what we're holding right now, but it's made in plastic, and there's handles on it. Oh, I mean, yeah, we have that too. I don't oh, think a winter sled that rolls oh, no. up. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, I think we just call it winter sled. <laughs> oh, really? We call it crazy carpets. And even in our French um, 
in our French community where I grew up, like it's it's like no English at all. We we even called them crazy carpets. So that was crazy. Oh. You might break an arm. Yeah, man, we used to uh, attach crazy carpets and snow racers on skidoos, and my dad would go like extremely fast. Man, I hurt myself so many times, but hey, I was having fun. I laugh. And yeah, as long as you're having fun. <laughs> yeah, it disappears. <laughs> there you go. Bah, oui, the crazy carpet man. <laughs> there you go. That's a good way to explain it in French. Welcome, Dave. All right. Oh, the music. All right. What kind of questions can I ask Gladiator? Last like year, music. in 2022. What was uh, an indie game that you really enjoyed? Hmm. Doesn't have to be uh, made in 2022, but one that you really enjoyed in 2022. Hmm. Oh. Am I doing this let right? Me think, let me think about it. And I'll let you know after this race. <laughs> okay, sounds good. The, the suspense is killing me. Well, that the suspense. It's just, I, when someone who plays too many indie games, it's hard. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Oh my god, can you can you tell me like how many indie games you've played last year? Can you like estimate it, or is that impossible? Oh, estimate probably. Um, let's just say maybe. Um, I tried. So you know how. All right, so I try to maybe I find like one new indie game to play every single day, like oh one my new gosh. one. But there are days that I could find two or three eventually. <laughs> oh my gosh. So So about you know, a thousand in the game. At most. <laughs> okay. <laughs> nice. Yeah, because you have to eat sometimes, right? Oh I eat and play. I don't know what you do. <laughs> <laughs> that's that's my go to. Eat oh, and play. That's smart. I even I even um Oh, what in the world? Oh, that came out of warm mouth. Mouth. Okay. Um, yeah. So I, I even play. I even, I pretty much play all the time whenever I do stuff. That's awesome. Yeah, like, like I saw you, you. go to the bathroom and then take a, take a bath. <laughs> yeah. I like, like when, I like when we played that game just not too long ago and you just like started, like you just took one hand to think. And playing with the other <laughs> hand, so I guess you're already used to playing with just one hand. <laughs> Actually, this one is a one-handed ah. game. I don't, I don't think we need two hands on this one. This one, yeah, yeah this one is also one-handed as well. You can do a trick with A, but that's it. A, oh, my gosh. oh, you're playing a chore. Yeah, I'm playing on a mouse and keyboard. Oh, that's even <laughs> easier. Oh, yeah. And the music, it's like very, very grunge. <laughs> Oh man, so close. Yeah, you would not expect it. The thing, the, the interesting thing about this game is it's, it's like, it reminds me of that game playing on Fall Guys when we were trying to like beat the time. Because it just keeps oh, yeah. going. Oh yeah, look at that. We have 150 seconds. Okay. Yeah, but you gotta get the, whoever, whoever get the best time. <laughs> oh, I see. Let me try something here, see if it's gonna be faster. You know what I wanna try? I wanna cheat. That's what I want to do. How are you going to cheat on a demo? <laughs> <laughs> I can cheat. I mean, it's actually much easier to cheat on a demo than on a game that's complete. <laughs> yeah, it's an early access, so probably. So where did you hear about these games? Oops. Ah, oh, man. <laughs> oh, uh, on my uh, indie game newsletter. Oh, nice. <laughs> this, is, this is another game that's going to be part of Steam Next Fest also. Nice. So I'm, when uh, I was uh, when I when I was looking at the Steam Next Fest games, this was one of them because I was looking for an online game. There's so many uh, single player games, with not much online. Hmm. I love um, single oh. player games. <laughs> yeah, single player games great. Also, I do enjoy them as well. Mm -hmm. uh, bah, bah. Man, this is super grunge. It's crazy. <laughs> well, it's like um, what is it? Uh, Warhammer music? Oh, <laughs> oh yeah, blood, uh, blood something in teeth. I think it's called uh, Goblin uh, Game. Blood shooters or something. Yeah. 
Yeah. It just reminds me of the 90s punk scene that was happening <laughs> locally here. Oh. Yeah. Nice. Oh, you did some good time there. I yeah. did. I, I thought it was going to be 52 seconds, but I, I was all. See now. So, yeah, during one of the interview, uh, I think it's in two weeks. Or me, is it next week? I can't remember. You but, got too many interviews yeah, coming exactly. up. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. But I'll be playing one of the game uh, from the, the, the Steam Fest. And, oh, nice. Um, while interviewing the developer. So it's going to be pretty different. <laughs> I don't know if I'll be able to concentrate and remember my questions while playing the game, but we'll see what happens. It is hard for sure. Yeah. I mean, I'm not used thought, to it. Oh, my gosh. I got. It I got eaten by a worm. Yeah, I guess I died there too. <laughs> Weird. I think we don't have time I mean, to spawn I, again. Because that's the reason I guess the timer. Oh, start racing? What? Oh, wait. Oh, we're, we're racing, racing now. Wait. Oh, man. Oh, we're racing. Wait, are we actually racing? I don't know. <laughs> Was that all practice? <laughs> wait, wait. What the heck? I'm walking now. What am I doing? Okay, good. I'm, I'm um, trying buttons. Wait, did I just yeah, kill myself? You... When you're playing a game and then interviewing a person, it's actually quite hard. Yeah. I I done it. I done a lot of those and I it's still not it's still not easy. <laughs> <laughs> Cause you're also making up questions on the way as you're playing. You kinda have to, right? As well. Like mm -hmm. no choice. Yeah. I mean sometimes you could plan ahead. I mean some some of the basic questions you always plan ahead, but mm -hmm. then as you play the game you start to draw questions and then you have to add that on the list. Yeah, it's um that's the thing with me. I, I like planning in advance mm -hmm. and coordinate, right? Like I'm a very coordinate type of person. So it's gonna be uh very strange doing this on the fly. Wait a where am I? Oh. Choo choo. So since we finished the race, I guess I'll just ask you a question about uh, your your favorite, favorite game. game. 2022. Oh, 2022 that I play. Or your most played game. I can't remember. No, yeah, we're a favorite game of 2022. I don't, I don't know if this would consider an indie game, but Eastward. Wait, how, how did you call the game? Um, Eastward. Oh, Eastward. Oh, man, the music in that one is amazing. I don't know if that would consider as an indie game. Would that be an indie game? I think so. Who, who did I mean, even this though, one? Even though. It, it, I mean, the developer is indie. The publisher is Chucklefish, of course. Okay. Chucklefish is pretty popular when it comes to indie games. The majority of the games are indie titles. Okay. So, I guess it does. Yeah, there you go. Woohoo! What? Congrats, Gladiator. You are the winner. I can't I can tell who won. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, you're the, you're the other guy. This guy looks like Rugrats. Like Rugrats They do character. look like Rugrats. Yeah. I mean, I'm missing, I'm missing a teeth. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, you are. Or two. Are you? Yeah, you I don't are. know. Looks like it. But yeah. well, you're floating. Your character's floating in the air. Yeah, yours too, on my end. It's funny. So, how does that... Even... Oh, look, it does touch you. Your best time. Mm. Okay. Oh, I did better on... The... Also, the... we had three games combined. Oh, no, we had two games. Best oh, practice, so that time, practice time. And then, and then race best time. race time. Oh, we have That's a practice. That's a very long practice time. It was like, what, yeah. two minutes, three minutes? So we were practicing, and then we did the, the race. Interesting. So you're like practicing to know the course? Yeah, I guess so. So he's that's cheating. A bit, that's a bit cheating. I, I told you that, that I was going to cheat. I told you. <laughs> uh, all right, have that a good one, Rouster. Funny, though. <laughs> Play your way. That's RPG. Be shooting mechanics. If that wasn't uh -huh. your thing. Manually aiming skill. Optional for those. I think I'm missing out on some conversations here. I think I might redownload oh. Soma. Oh, Soma is a good one. Soma is that horror game, right? Yeah, it is. Oh, uh, I can't I can't deal with horror games. <laughs> okay. So I could deal with horror games if they're like, you know, uh, RPG, 16 bits or something like that. Yeah. But if they're like first person or third person horror game, no, uh uh. Oh uh -uh. man. Really? <laughs> it's too bad. Unless Okay, it depends on the type of horror games too. 
Um, it depends on the time. Uh, e- Evil Within is such a good horror game. I mean, oh, uh, nope, I'll pass. <laughs> <laughs> I'll pass. <laughs> oh man, that's too bad. Or Dead Space. Oh uh, yeah, Dead Space uh, got me screaming, and I'm you know I'll pass. I'm not. <laughs> I'm not usually too scared Trust when me. playing games, but oh my gosh, that one, one time I tried to play. Um, what's that? Prey. Yeah. Oh, Prey. And uh, oh, so good. <laughs> that was uh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, you should stream Evil Within. Ah, oh, I would love that. I. I, pl- I finished the first Evil Within um, on the hardest difficulty, of course. And I, I was so immersed, immersed, immersed in the game, I think is the word. And I, I could stream like the second one because I, I didn't play it yet. Unless you guys really want me to start with the, the first one, but you're very <laughs> cool. So yes. Um, Eastward. That was a cool game. I haven't finished it. it. I only started it actually, but yeah, I'm really having some fun. <laughs> I just like I just like that. Well, besides the way the game looks, I love that uh, artwork and design. Yeah. Uh, and the and story is pretty pretty good too. The um, the trailer song really got me. Like I really enjoyed it, and. Mm-hmm. They didn't. They didn't put that song in the, in the game. It's just a trailer song, <laughs> and it's the best they song did, of the uh, game. So, uh, what was that game? Um, <laughs> what was that Final Fantasy game? Oh man, what was that name? Uh, Remember Final the one with the Crown City, where do you drive around? What's that? Final Fantasy fifteen. Fifteen. Was that fifteen? Fifteen, where uh, yeah, you drive the around prince. and you're you're the prince. But, yeah, okay. So that one, when they first introduced, uh, that had like so many CGI trailer and everything. Yeah. Um, some of the trailers that they show was not in the game. Oh my gosh. It was in and the movie, so right? It was in the movie. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, too funny. Oh man, Final so, Fantasy 15 can be so confusing. They really, they really put pieces of the, the game like everywhere. It's so weird. It is. All right, let's practice some more. Dun, 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 dun. Oh, and it really reminds me of like a local band called Eric's Trip. Oh, Last of Us. I'm I'm only seeing like half of the text. If if I want to see the text, you have to write like five words. And then another five words, and then I'll see it. But I'm missing like half of these conversations. I see like Rebecca won't even watch Last of, and then that's it. I don't see the rest. The Last of Us. I I actually played Last of Us, and I really liked it. Oh, um, you weren't too scared for that one. That one was pretty creepy. No, actually, to be honest, when it comes to games like zombie games, mm-hmm. I love it. <laughs> hmm. So, for example, Res- all the entire Resident Evil uh, series, I played every single one of them, and I enjoyed it. I just like it wasn't because it, it wasn't scary at all for me. It was just like, oh my god, it's like so, like action moment. Oh, that yeah, yeah. Um, and then same thing with um, State of Decay. Have you ever played State of Decay? Uh, no, I don't know much about it actually. It's one, it's probably one of the only zombie games that I put so many hours into it. Wow. Uh, Stay of the K2, I probably put in 2,000 game hours into it. Oh my gosh. Because I just like the concept and the whole survivor aspect of it. And that's why I played a lot also last year. Nice. Uh, whenever I play online with my f- with friends. Uh, but those kind of zombie games, I am okay with for some reason. <laughs> I've played um, uh, H1Z1 back in the day. I think it's called something else now. I think it's called like Daisy hey. or Oh yeah. I think, I think it's Daisy. No, is it Daisy now? I'm called? not sure if it's Daisy, but it's another game it's another name now. It's not called H one Z one. And uh and the cactus part is hard. And uh I tried to play that. Yeah. It's it was hard. 
Is it is it like State of Decay? Is that like the same style? It, it, it's kind of. I mean, it's an open world survivor PvP concept. Yeah, there you go. That's um, that's what it is. Yeah. I mean, it's the same as um, me playing um, Seven Days to Die, which I love. Oh, actually. So, um, Evil Within is from mm-hmm. the same cre- creator of uh, Resident Evil Four, if I'm not mistaken. And so, if you play it, it's very similar, even though it's not. It's not I... zombies, like in, well, it's kind of zombies, but. It's more like no, crazy like, uh, guys. <laughs> paranormal, like paranormal stuff like that. <laughs> supernatural, I mean. Yeah. Yeah, Supernatural is a bit tough. I'm still trying to get used to it. I'm trying to get back into playing those so I could actually enjoy them. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it can be hard. It can. H1Z1 kills SOE, Sony Online Entertainment? I'm not sure what is SOE. Oh, I'm stuck here. These cactus are bullies. But yeah. <laughs> it's like, it's like the cactus, cactus of Final Fantasy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, the kid, the cactus are, yeah. With that 1000 years. That was a bully also. <laughs> oh, it is. S- oh, that's the SOE that you actually meant. Interesting. Did it really? It killed it? Are you ready for this gladiator? This is the moment of oh, truth. It's actually in the race. Yeah, and this is our last game. Let's make it worth it. Uh, come on, go fast. Like, there's no reason to not hold the analog up, right? Like, we should always just hold it up. I don't know. They say it's, it's just go faster. Yeah. So- I don't understand. Oh, crap. I mean, do you, do you even see a turbo boost? No. <laughs> No, controllers are, are simple, but it's not a bad thing. I mean, it's, no, it's not. It's hard anyway, right? With the cactus. Mm-hmm. Here's the moment where I where I will fail and Gladiator will beat me. Ah, uh, I knew it. No, no. Come on, come on! I knew it. I knew that Gladiator would pass me. He's got the. He knows where to go. Oh my! Oh, maybe no, not. not. Maybe not. These, ca- these cactus are kicking my butt. Am I going the right way? No, I'm not. Ah, crap. Because we've been playing the other game, I keep thinking that I have a parachute. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I kept holding A too. Oh, man. Yeah, I'm not doing well here. Who will be the winner? Who will win? Gladiator, who is one handed, or Ninja Guy with his, his controller? <laughs> oh, man. It's a very interesting game concept too. This yeah, one. that was fun. GG, my friend. You've been. Uh, I think you've been beating me in every single game. So uh, yeah, it's not. No, you, you won that one game, and that's all. Oh so. yeah, that's true. Okay, that's good. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> I wonder if we could do emotes. I'm trying to see if I could do emotes. Yeah, maybe. Let's give it a try. Oh. Oh wait, you have a temtem. Oh wait, yeah, you can do emotes. It's like Fall Guys. Right. Can I actually play the drums? I don't know. <laughs> Can I play it? Ah. What am I doing? Am I petting the air? Wait, let me pet. <laughs> yeah. l- let me pet Gladiator. I want to pet you. Uh, well, not there. Let me pet you at a more appropriate place. There. Well, I don't know. Your hand is going way oh, well. too low. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly. Uh, all right. All right, so let me get into the chat. I want to see what Jem has to say about SOE. During H1Z1 development, Sony sold the company to an investor and they became Daybreak Games, along with all their new games being canceled except for H1Z1. What? That's very interesting. Which was ironic because they did indeed break their games. <laughs> A bit is on the one-handed bandit. <laughs> yeah, it's cool. You you can you can play other other games, right? When you uh you're one-handed. Reminds me of Sackboy in Little Big Planet. The way you can move them. Yeah, exactly. In Little Big Planet, you can 
I think you can hold buttons and you can hold and you can move your hands how you want. And uh, Odd Ballers is doing that too, and it's been pretty fun. Oh, there you go. You're back. Oh, is that is that a dog or a cat? And the answer will mm -hmm. make me judge you really bad. Oh, it's a dog. Okay, <laughs> I still like dogs. He's really cute. Oh my gosh. Uh -huh. <laughs> she came. What's her name? Uh, take a guess. Uh, Zelda. Uh, no. <laughs> it's a food. It's a food? Uh, yeah. Pickle. <laughs> no. Because you're always into pickles. No, that's you. Oh, wait. Is it? Uh, oh, Xerna said sushi. <laughs> no. Good guess, though. Her, her name is Oreo. As in the cookie. Oh, smart! Yes! That makes a lot of sense. Cute. <laughs> oh my gosh. She's very calm, too. She is three years old. Three years old? Mm -hmm. Wow, it's hard to believe, right? She's so calm. She is. Mm -hmm. Okay, go, go ahead. Go, go get your toys. Zarina Cruz. <laughs> nice. Get the toy. There's your plushie right there. Got the seal of approval from Zarina. All right, so before we end this, <clears throat> uh, let's talk about, let's try to find one last question for Gladiator. Hmm. Yeah, take your time. I got time. I yeah. know where to go. All right, all right. Oh. Let me think here. Um, let's see. I want to ask like a very nice question. Uh, oh, hey, what does that mean? <laughs> well, you know, a, question, a, a, a cool question to end it. Um, what if you could create an indie game? What kind of game would you create? Hmm. It has to be one-handed, right? <laughs> Give me two minutes. Okay. And wh while we wait, uh, chat. Uh, feel free to ask some questions too. I see some questions. We'll be asking them afterwards. It'll be R it definitely gonna be an RPG element, but in a different way. Nice, nice. Um, have you ever played um, the Tsukatan series before? Remember that? A little bit. I know it's a popular series, but I only played like not a lot. But I know what it is. So it's popular in a way where you get to have. Your, your party gets you get to choose between like almost like a about 100 yeah. characters yeah um and don't and of course it's an rpg japanese um rpg game um uh, but they also put strategy concept into it as it as um as the series get um ch unchanged as in when it gets a two three four um so the game i was thinking about because that was my all-time favorite games because wow. of that. I I enjoyed the RPG elements and the strategy elements mixed together. Nice. So, so if I did have to create a game, I would create something similar to that. Um, but in um, fantasy, uh, magical realm, in a way. Where it's not just um, humans, but also you know, creature monsters. Yeah, but good good monsters. <laughs> <laughs> good monsters. Ah, huh? I like the sound yeah, of that. You know, there are something good monsters. Yeah, because you know, not all monsters are bad. No, like Pokemon, right? You get hundreds of Pokemon, mm -hmm. and they're monsters. No, I'm just kidding. It, it wouldn't be like that. But um... well, in before Poke before it was known as Pokemon, it was called Pocket Monsters. Pocket Monsters. <laughs> yeah, there you go, and. Um... <laughs> Yeah, because it, when when you think of that, that I would think like Breath of Fire, but with a lot more characters because Breath of Fire, oh. ha, you know, they have dragons, Dragon Boy, and things like that. You know, my favorite part about Breath of Fire was when they added the camp feature. The camp feature, really? Where you get to interact with each of your character, the party, and then you get to know more about the story. So that's why you also like Grandia then, because Grandia has the same mm -hmm. mechanic. That is cool. 
it's always nice when you have play a game, an RPG game, where you actually know the story behind each character. Mm-hmm. Like, of course, Fire Emblem. Fire Emblem does it right now, where you can just hear the story and know what know where they're coming from. Yeah, yeah. So, getting the background story of those characters is also important, besides the main character. Yeah, character development uh, is very important in the game, and um, sometimes in AAA games, they're missing out on that, and it's unfortunate. Mm-hmm. But I love when you know RPG really develop these characters into uh, yeah, make them because AAA, AAA title games um, skip that purpose and then just go straight for oh let's just make the game look super fantastic and push the GPU at the maximum limit. <laughs> yeah, exactly. I can understand that. All right, let's see what other questions we have here. Zarina is asking Gladiator, what's on your sweater? Oh, it's a Discord sweater. Nice. It's a, it's a Wampus. Yeah. Lena. See? <laughs> <laughs> Discord. Very nice. Oh, it has a scarf too. That is cool. Uh, so, uh, yeah, again, Gladiator is not affiliate with Discord. He just really likes the merch. <laughs> yeah. That's funny. Uh, Roster is asking, what was your first console? Hmm. Wait, handheld or this? Yeah, I think handheld would count. I mean, handheld. I was my mine was Game Boy. The first Game Boy. Wow. Mm-hmm. So you you did you play Pokemon and Mario? Yeah, I did, and it was ter- It was hard. It was so hard, especially when you play when you try to play at nighttime. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> nighttime, no light. <laughs> yeah, that is true. Uh, and one handed, <laughs> the perfect console for one hand. I remember um, going on a family trip down to Florida to Disney. Mm-hmm. And I was playing on my Game Boy because that was the only way I would pass time. And then playing at nighttime mm-hmm. in the dark, it was so hard to catch Pokemon. Oh man, <laughs> yeah. Too bad you didn't have like a. You know what? I can't think of a Pokemon. Well, here a Charmander because you know you'd have like the tail to fire up the yeah. <laughs> put some light on. I'm sure there's like a Pokemon uh, with a lantern or something, but I can't remember. Uh, that that was definitely my first handheld. Nice. And the last question, what was Glad's favorite childhood game? Hmm. Childhood game. Hmm. That got me into gaming pretty much. I guess you could say. Yeah, like when you were a kid, what game like were you like obsessed with? <laughs> <laughs> so my so before any before anything before um before i actually enjoy playing rpg uh, um, a lot um i used to play strategy games a whole lot like it was my bread and butter oh wow um and it's i was i liked it so much that um i even played it after school <laughs> <laughs> um, when we go to the when we go to the PC cafe, nice. so in Korea there is PC there are PC cafe, nice. internet cafe, um, where you can just play games. You just pay um, two dollars an hour, and you get unlimited high speed internet and your own uh, PC way. Um, so we used to do that, and I used to play I used to play like StarCraft a lot. Um, but one game that actually got me. And actually, it got me to school also. <laughs> um, it got me to school is um, Age of Empire series. Ah, very nice. I thought you were going to and... say Kingdom Under Fire, but... Uh, uh, no. Yeah. Kingdom Under Fire came afterwards, but I actually used Age of Empire as an excuse to study. Oh, wow, really? <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> saying that, hey, I'm playing... Um, like, when you know, when you were a kid, your parents don't stop, don't stop you from playing too much game. I'm like... Uh, but this is educational. <laughs> <laughs> True, yeah. We, we hear about the history of uh... and and I use it, and I, it actually worked. Nice. I used it in school, also. That is awesome. Age of Empire is such an amazing game. I I listen yeah. to the soundtrack once in a while. It's it's a, like they don't make this, those soundtracks like they used to. Those strategy game mm-hmm. soundtrack. You don't like even the newer so- strategy games. They don't <clears> make these soundtracks anymore. That was the first game that got me that I actually stood up. I did it all night the first time also, Age of Empires. Oh my gosh, wow. I think the first game... Off. Oh, sorry, go ahead. 
Oh, no, it's okay. I was just saying I was playing the first time to、um, land. <laughs> wow. First time land all nighter, and we were just playing one game, and it was about eight hours. It was like four v four. Wow, <laughs> that's amazing. And that was eight to nine. We started around mi- close to like midnight, or like around close to midnight, and then I, I turned around, look outside. Oh snap! The sun came up. <laughs> <laughs> I never played a game.、Uh, I never played Age of Empire against real people. I always only played it with AIs.、Uh, I、yep. think back、yeah. then、uh, it wasn't too popular for,、uh, around where I live. We played a lot、no. more Warcraft、uh, in LAN parties. I mean, there was no, there was not really online concept. Too much. I mean, it's all through land. Yeah,、party. exactly, exactly. <laughs> Good times. R- Rouser is asking, favorite.、Uh, do you do you enjoy more computer or consoles? At, at first, I play computer a lot in the beginning,、uh, and then I switched to console. As in, my first console was actually、um, was the Xbox、um, OG, the, the first、original. one. Nice. I bought it at Toys R Us, and I I, I bought it as、you、in bought it I、yourself. actually wow when I was when I was doing all my, I was saving up my allowance money and I was so excited and that was the first console I purchased on my own. Wow, that's amazing. Were you still in Korea when you bought it? No, I was here in the U.S. Oh wow, okay, cool.、Mm-hmm. Um, I was wondering because I don't think that Xbox was popular in Asia, right? Hmm. No. I、mm. really. And it's 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 growing now. It grew, it's, but it just it started growing recently. Console like that, it has been growing up recently. Um, but it's st- the most still everything's popular over there is handheld devices、uh, and mobile gaming. Yeah, it's still popular. Yeah, and strategy games are still super popular over there too. I can imagine there's、uh, a lot. Of- no, no, um, MOBA, MOBA. Okay. Uh, the battle, the battle arena <laughs> games. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> like that's true. League of Legends. And stuff like that. Oh yeah! Oh, the big ones, man. Mobas, mobas、yeah. will always be popular over there, no matter what. Yeah, yeah, for sure. All right, <laughs> so yeah, I think we're gonna end it here.、Uh, that was super fun, Gladiator. Ha- I'm happy to learn more about you.、Uh, we've learned、uh, a lot of,、uh, you know,、uh, some some favorite things that Gladiator likes. We learned about his nickname, where it comes from. And、uh, many more things. We've learned that he has a dog name.、Uh, wait, wait,、well, uh, Oreo, Oreo. And then he has a lot of、uh, blue merch for some reason,、uh, v- which is very strange. But、uh, I-, I don't think I'll go further into investigating into why. <laughs> It's actually my favorite color. Oh, it is very nice.、Mm-hmm. Uh, so yeah, there you go. Zarina says, "Super fun getting to learn more about Gladiator." So guys, thank you so much for coming in.、Uh, today was kind of like a first episode of Indie Time without the interview ed-、uh, edition, without interviewing developers. Let me know、uh, in the comments below if you're watching this after. If you enjoyed this, and if you'd like to、uh, see some more of this different kind of、uh, of style for Indie Time.、Uh, but until then, thank you so much for coming in. And Gladiator, would you like to say anything before we leave? Oh yeah! Don't forget to subscribe to Ninja. <laughs> <laughs> well, thank you, and I do have a link to Gladiator's、uh, channel in the description, so make sure to have a look at that. Thank you very much,、yeah. guys, and have a good one. Bye. Bye, everyone.